Uh, we don't have even food. We just, you know, uh, we have to work every day to to make money to buy food. Manny Pacquiao is a well-known Filipino professional boxer and politician. Currently, he's serving as party president of the PDP Laban Party. Manny is regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all time. This man is the only eight division world champion in the history of boxing. Moreover, Manny has won 12 major world titles. Let me tell you that Manny was the first professional boxer to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes. And he's also the only boxer to hold world championships across four decades, including the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. Back in the year 2015, Forbes ranked him the second highest paid athlete in the world. Or in my, in, in my pocket. I still understand, I still feel the, the hearts of the poor people. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Emmanuel de Pedrin Pacquiao, but he's also known as MP, Pac-Man, The Destroyer, and Manny. He was born December 17, 1978 in Kabawe, Bukandan, Philippines, making him 43 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 6 inches tall or 168 centimeters. He became the oldest welterweight world champion in history back in July 2019. At that time, he was 40 years old. Moreover, Manny became the first boxer to become a recognized four-time welterweight champion after he defeated Keith Thurman and won the WBA welterweight title. He's currently ranked as the eighth best active boxer pound for pound by BoxRec. On the other hand, the Boxing Writers Association of America ranks him as the ninth best active fighter, while ESPN has named him the 10th best active boxer. He graduated from the University of Makati back in December 2019 and received his bachelor's degree in political science. Discussing the religious beliefs of this boxer, he was raised Catholic and currently he is a practicing evangelical Protestant. He has said that he once had a dream where he saw a pair of angels and heard the voice of God. Manny says that this dream convinced him to become a devout believer. Recently, he spoke out about the ongoing racially motivated attacks on Asian Americans in the U.S. He said, we have one color in our blood. Stop discriminating. Peace and love to everyone. He's against same-sex marriage. He once said, God only expects man and woman to be together and to be legally married. In March 2020, he hosted a party at his house. Let me tell you that Senator Coco Pimentel attended this party. Coco was later diagnosed with COVID-19. Subsequently, the Das Marinas Village Barangay Council ordered Manny to self-isolate at his residence. In June 2006, a movie titled Pacquiao, the movie was released. It's based on Manny's life. On May 10, 1999, he got married to Jinky Jamora. The couple has five children together, including Emmanuel Jimuel Jr., Queen Elizabeth Israel, Mary Divine Grace, and Michael Stephen. Jimuel is an amateur boxer and Michael is a famous rapper. Queen Elizabeth was born in the United States. Experience that I, I'm, I'm so thankful to God that I, I, I had experience. I have an experience that life, you know, before I get this life. He was raised in General Santos in Philippines and is the son of Dionysia de Pedrin Pacquiao and Rosalio Pacquiao. When Manny was in sixth grade, his mother discovered that Manny's father had an affair. As a result, his parents separated. Here, it's worth noting that Manny was the fourth of six children of his parents. Alberto Bobby Pacquiao is one of his siblings. Alberto is a politician and a former professional boxer. Manny went to Saavedra Sawe Elementary School in General Santos City. However, he was forced to drop out of high school because of extreme poverty. When Manny was 12 years old, his maternal uncle named Sardo Mejia introduced him to boxing. Manny's autobiography suggests that he was watching Mike Tyson's defeat to James Buster Douglas in 1990 with Sardo. This experience changed his life forever. Here, it's worth noting that Manny's early interest in combat sports was also inspired by the boxer Muhammad Ali and martial artist Bruce Lee. 
His uncle started training him in 1990 in a makeshift home gym. After six months, Manny started boxing in a park and later traveled to many cities in order to fight high-ranked opponents. By the time Manny was 15 years old, he was already considered the best junior boxer in the southern Philippines. Manny made his professional boxing debut as a junior flyweight back in 1995. At that time, he was 16 years old. Manny then took and successfully passed a high school equivalency exam and received his high school diploma from the Department of Education. However, he had already earned a spot on the national Filipino team at the age of 14. However, Manny won the next 15 fights, and his first major title came after defeating Chache Sasakul. In 2001, Manny won the Super Bantamweight title. Then in 2003, he fought at featherweight for the first time. He defeated Antonio Barrera. Then in 2005, Manny moved to Super Featherweight to fight Eric Morales. Manny lost the initial fight, however, he won against Eric in 2006. In 2008, he won against Oscar De La Hoya, and the next year he moved to light welterweight to fight Ricky Hatton. Manny won the match and became sixth division champion. His political career started back in 2007 when Manny ran for his seat in the Filipino House of Representatives. However, he was defeated. Manny later ran for a different district in 2010 and won this time. He became successful in the world of Filipino politics and ran for his seat in the Senate in 2016. Manny eventually won this seat and is now actively involved with the politics of Philippines. You might also want to note that Manny has also enjoyed a fruitful career in the entertainment industry. Let me tell you that Manny has appeared in a number of Filipino movies, and it's rumored that he might be appearing in Hollywood films as well. To be an example, to be a good example to the, to the politician here in the Philippines, uh, to be honest, um, to serve honestly. His fights have generated at least $1.2 billion in revenue from his 25 pay-per-view bouts that happened before 2015. His most lucrative fight happened in May 2015 when Manny fought against Floyd Mayweather. He ended up earning $130 million from this match. It's estimated that Manny has earned more than $500 million from fights and his brand endorsement deals. In 2016, he earned $21.5 million from salary and $2.5 million from brand endorsement deals. In 2014, he fought against Chris Algieri and earned $23 million from this match. Moreover, he earned $800,000 from endorsement deals. According to various reports, he earned $41.8 million in 2014. And in 2013, Manny earned $30 million for his fight against Brandon Rios. Let me tell you that he has brand endorsement deals with Nike, Monster Energy, Hennessy, Wonderful Pistachios, and San Miguel Beer. The total net worth of Manny Pacquiao is $220 million. However, he officially resides in Kiamba and Sarangani since he is a congressman. Manny Pacquiao owns the following cars and motorcycles, a Lincoln Navigator, a Ferrari 458 Italia, gray edition, a Mitsubishi Grandis, a Mercedes SL 550, a Chevrolet Suburban, a Mitsubishi Pajero, a Hyundai Santa Fe, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, a Cadillac Escalade, a Hummer H2,
a Ford Expedition, a Honda CRV, an M2 Cyclone 1200cc motorcycle. 